all the code you are seeing on your computer screen is from previous day video tutorial so if you made this far you may want to actually build something even if it's just a hobby project using some SDK so if you build something then please verify the payload result on live XRP ledger I will let you know why you need to do that so before that I'll authenticate this sign request and sign the sign request actually and we get this result and as you can see we are still on testnet okay so you can see other output here like expiration time so this is the result the output here so this is application detail destination address payment type or payload and the transaction ID which we are interested in right now so let us fetch this transaction ID so result dot response dot transaction ID so that's what we need so now using that transaction ID we need to verify the transaction on the main net why you need to do that maybe because the user successfully signed using his or her some application but with a key that is no longer valid for a certain amount maybe because the multi signature has been configured and an account has been rekeyed there are various reasons for that so to avoid such a situation you need to check against the main net and balance changes property and check it against the transaction template okay and another scenario is the user sent a partial payment that is sending euro to deliver xrp while the owned amount of euro was insufficient due to exchange rate slippage uh, before the transaction is completed or else when the transaction got initiated the xrp price varied a lot there is volatility factor in cryptos right so exchange rate slippage is common so when you are using IVO use these things occur more often than not one more scenario is the user tried to trick you into accepting a testnet payment by signing with a funded testnet account as you probably already know testnet accounts are free and those coins have no values it can be obtained for free so we we use it while testing our applications and I have been using testnet coins for all the transactions in these video series at the end of this video I'll be using mainnet and showing you the real transactions on XRPL the main ledger network okay we can use XRPL transaction data package to verify the transactions locally by using XRPL TX data package you can connect to one of the public XRP ledger nodes and verify the transactions so let's use XRPL TX data let me install it first using npm it might take a couple of seconds to minute depending upon the speed of your internet so it's done on my system now so let me include or import the the library using the keyword require so require xrpl hyphen tx data that's the package we just now installed now let me create an instance of that so i'll call it maybe verify with a capital v new tx data it won't take any parameters by the way so now once the user successfully signs the sign request so that's when this code the block of code inside this else block gets executed right so here we we try to check the transaction details using transaction id so i'll take a constant and call it verified result so let us wait using await keyword a child process will be created which waits for the response so now using the instance we just created that is verify 
verify dot it has a method called get one which takes transaction id as argument so where is the transaction id present it's present inside result dot response dot tx id oh wait a minute to get this we need to remove the comments here okay hope it it's right so let me cut this off and pass it on to get one method of instance verify so now let me change this log information and write on ledger balance because we are interested in checking the balance on the live le xrpl ledger so let me output the entire output present inside verified result for now so it pushes the sign request i just sign this request so let me authenticate it i am looking through the camera so i am missing it so once the transaction is completed we get on ledger balance result wait a minute so the transaction is not found on this host xrpl.ws because we are still using testnet so let me switch that to main network and now let me transact once again so if a user tricks you by using testnet it won't work okay that's what i wanted to show you now i have i have switched to main net so now i'll sign this sign request and it must go through successfully so our transaction is on main network now that's why it's showing all these results so xrpl.ws is looking through the main network xrpl network so it's looking into main xrpl ledger so the account the amount the destination the fees so this is the destination address so hash it has all these kind of information but the thing which we are interested in is balance change which is present at the end this one so we need to check the balance on live ledger against the transaction template we just we passed on to the end user to sign okay so let me fetch balance change changes details only and skip all other results so let me push the sign request once again remember i am signing this on on mainnet so the transaction will be on main xrpl ledger and not on test network okay so on ledger balance you can see it here so the first result is that's my address my xrp address okay so the currency is xrp and the value which i transferred is 1.000012 and this is the destination address and they just received one xrp from me so the fees is 0.000012 that's the fees of the ledger of the network okay which will be burned by the way so that's how we check the balance changes on the live xrpl ledger and avoid some of the bad guys from cheating so you could even check the transaction here i just missed it missed recording it so i'm doing it after some time so the main net transaction we just went through okay you could see all other payloads which got opened and signed this was on testnet okay so the free coins which i just distributed to random addresses i guess 
So this is log details. So whenever you are working with some API or some SDK, make sure to keep checking these sections that is payloads and logs, which is present inside your some developer dashboard. This is your friend. You need to look at this and terminal outputs all the time and you will fix your errors and bugs very soon instead of banging your head and posting in all the forms. Okay, so hope all these videos will be helpful for you and we will continue producing more educational videos based on some SDK and some API. Till then, please stay subscribed to our YouTube channel. Thank you.